What's up, soldiers? Your boy Chris here, Vibes in Up in the Kitchen, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. I've got some smoked herring and I've got some cabbage. So we're doing a quick little something here. You're going to like this one. This one is fillets. So all the bones and the skin and all that stuff like that has been removed from the herrings. Try to get those fillets. It's going to be so much easier, man. Let your vibes in up. The first thing we've got to do is prepare those um, fillets those uh, smoked herring fillets and since it's already been prepared now <clears throat> for the most part which means the skin has been removed and most of those bones it's pretty simple not like old school when you would have to boil it remove the skin and all and, and uh, bones and all that so all I'm doing is going in with hot water I'm just gonna cover that and let that sit in that hot water until it cools what that's gonna do it's gonna soften it and make it easier for us to shred it and break it apart and to take away some of the salt and stuff like that that it's been cured in leave it cool down and then we're gonna shred it while I was waiting for the um, that hot water and the smoke earrings to cool down to be able to handle it I went ahead and I prepared my garlic scallion tomato hot peppers and the cabbage gone ahead the water is cool now I dumped it all out and I squeezed most of the water out of the uh, herring fillets here all you're gonna do now is take them with your fingers just break it up sort of shred it so you get nice nice pieces like that you're gonna notice tiny little bones in there and that is just typical of herrings don't worry about those those won't do any uh, sort of problems when you're eating it because they're very 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 tiny and very soft if you do come across any sort of hard pieces though you want to get rid of it one of the things you got to remember your entire house is going to smell like smoked herrings and two your fingers they're gonna get very very oily the herrings are very oily so keep that in mind when working them it will re the scent will remain on your fingers as well it is that strong so if you're concerned about that wear gloves I've got my wide pan here on a very low flame and I'm going to go in with a good dose of olive oil so a couple tablespoons of olive oil and you want the heat to be low because we really just want to enhance that oil with the smoked herring flavors and I'm just going to go in with all that smoked herring now at this point I'm going to go in with some black pepper and I won't be using any salt in this dish but you can certainly go in with some salt near the end after you add the cabbage, taste it and adjust it accordingly. I will not be going in with any salt because I find that the smoked herrings that I'm using here, those fillets, it's already processed in some sodium so that's good enough for me. A couple cloves of chopped garlic, some scallions, and I have here some fresh thyme. These are baby thyme. So I'm just going to rip it up any sort of tough stock I will remove stems but for the most part that is good in there and I've got here I'm gonna use a couple of these birds eye chili or bird eye or bird pepper as we call it in the southern Caribbean seeds and everything because I want that little kick from it let that go slowly there low heat for about two or three minutes now if you wanted to go in with some shadow bani or cilantro in there some parsley that is cool as well some um, sliced onion I mean to say you do your thing right next up we're gonna go in now with all that chopped up cabbage just give it a quick stir turn your heat up to medium at this point because what you want to really get done here now is to warm that cabbage all the way through I pretty much cook it to the sort of consistency or texture that you like. For me, I like the cabbage with a little 
I mean to say, when people talk about pasta, they talk about al dente. I like my cabbage with a little bit of bite to it or al dente. Now I'm just gonna go in with some chopped tomato on the top and let that go for about four or five minutes. So there you go friends. Smoked herrings with cabbage, you can cook it a little bit longer if you want it a little bit more um, tender. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. If you're wondering about the sort of tape I have on my finger there, I got busted at the gym this morning. Your boy was going savage with the weights. And you know, sometimes I just don't understand the sort of strength that I have. And I smashed it on there. But, give this recipe a try. You're gonna love it, man.